amazing. since I've got to New York really because I've been busy and also I feel weird with so many people around like getting my camera out and vlogging I'm not gonna lie I need to get better at that but this is really cool it's like an abandoned well it's the old railway I think you can see like all the railway lines hang on how cool so yeah that is my plan for today and then after I've done this I'm gonna go see Winnie the Pooh I'm very excited seeing Hades Town tonight. I saw Moulin Rouge last night and it was phenomenal. Aaron today was just, I mean, I could cry with happiness thinking about it. So yeah, um, no, it's good. But yeah, let's go for a walk. having a very nerdy time as well. Um, I went to Trinity Church, which is where Alexander Hamilton is buried. Then I went to Castle Clinton, which is where he stole the cannons from. And now I'm walking towards a view over Hamilton Park. So it's kind of here over in New Jersey, which is uh, where he had the duel with Aaron Burr. So yeah, it turns out I'm just kind of doing the life and times of Hamilton in New York. Um, although I'm not visiting Hamilton Grange, I would love to, but it's too far out of my way for this time. Maybe next time. Uh, but yeah, this is really cute. Just kind of ambling through New York. So yeah, I'm gonna see Hades Town tonight, which I'm very, very excited about. I saw Moulin Rouge last night, which, oh my God, I actually squealed when I saw the auditorium. It is incredible. Oh my god, it's just, it's so good. I could nitpick, like the theatre snob in me wants to nitpick, but... And Aaron today, be still my beating heart, and literally, I love that man. He was incredible. Incredible. Inc like, I love you, McGregor. I've loved you, McGregor, for... Oh my god, it came out in 2001, so we're coming up on 20 years here. Oh my god, I'm old. Um, <laughs> and Aaron today just... He's incredible. There's a reason he's got the name he has. Like, there's a reason he's so well known, because he's actually... I, I literally can't believe that I saw him on Broadway. 
in a musical and he sang your song which is like and come what may which I won at my wedding <laughs> um, this is how much I love Moulin Rouge so yeah that's I think that's why I'm so picky because I'm such a huge fan of the film but uh, yeah I think I'm at Hamilton Park now so I also can't go much further oh wait no, that's a lie I can but I don't want to because I want to go that way uh, so yeah I'm going to take some photos and then carry on walking Everything's legal in New Jersey. <laughs> so yeah, this is what I believe is Hamilton Park. So that's pretty cool. Or not, because you know. But uh, this would be the Hudson River that they rode in back across and uh, very cool. turned 30 years old today <sighs> I'm old um, yeah I'm in Central Park uh, today I've decided to dedicate to finding filming locations because I'm a film nerd and really cool stumbled across some actual 
actual filming for a TV show. So uh, amazing, very, very cool. But yeah, it's so, I freaking love this city, man. Such a nice city and I just wanna walk down like all of these little pathways. <gasps> and there's a squirrel. Look at them all. Yeah, so, oh, that wasn't even on my face. So yeah, doing Central Park, then do some Gossip Girl, some Gossip Girl locations, it's gonna be fun. This is where they're filming, which is super, super cool. Yeah, don't know what they're filming, but they're filming something. So yeah, I have been to, I think it's Bethesda? Bethesda? Bethesda, don't know how you say it but to that terrace it's where they run down in Gossip Girl Blair and Chuck to get married and it's adorable and I love it and um, walking down like the main avenue to the fountain where Enchanted was filmed with the um, how does she know little section which I really wanted to see and I mean god how many films and TV shows have been filmed in Central Park like a crazy amount right so Everywhere you turn, you're like, oh, I recognise that. Recognise that. I mean, to be fair, in all of New York, it's a bit like that, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, I'm nerding out over my films right now. I'm very happy. And my friends at work have, like, set up my workstation for when I get back with all, uh, like, 30th birthday stuff. I'm feeling very grateful. Like, very... I just don't... Yeah, grateful, happy of where I am in life at the moment. Don't get me wrong, it's gonna get better. Thirties are gonna be like, um, I don't know what that is, but yeah, it's gonna be good. Uh, but yeah, I'm feeling very happy, which if you know me or if you've seen any of my previous videos, that's a big thing for me, to be truly happy um, it's, yeah, it's a big thing, so I'm very, very grateful, very, very grateful. Um, I'm aware not everybody can do a big trip like this on their birthday and not everybody has the luxury of doing things like this, so I am very grateful, but I went my butt off and, you know, saved the scrimps to be here, so, uh, yeah, very grateful, very happy. Kita? I keep grinning. I'm happy. <laughs> you watch him not do it now, but listen to the bird. <laughs> Look. The bridge where uh, MJ breaks up with Pizza. Broadway shows closed today at five o'clock 
which I'm devastated about, but I understand. Um, yeah, time to go home, time to say goodnight and uh, say goodbye to this amazing city. Yeah. quarter to one in the morning UK time which means that it is so much easier to do it the other way 8 45 p.m. so I've only actually been up for 12 hours which isn't much but it feels like a lot for some reason I think as I woke up at 4 a.m. oh wait so I've been up 18 hours I don't know I'm tired <laughs> It was, I think you're always more tired coming home because you don't have the excitement to like fuel you, you're going back into normal life which is, I keep touching my face, my hands are clean, whatever. Anyway, um, so yeah, but I'm proud of myself, I feel like I kind of have my, my stuff together because I've unpacked. I mean, admittedly most of it just needed thrown in the laundry basket but still. <laughs> Um, and again, I I wanted to see like what survived the flight. Um, I bought quite a few breakables home with me, so I just wanted to double check that they weren't broken, and nothing was broken. Everything is fully intact, so I'm very happy about that. But um, yeah, I'm gonna watch an episode of RuPaul. I think maybe I don't know. I'll see how I feel. Um, and then I'm going to bed. And that is my. 30th birthday trip done. Um, I had the most amazing time. Even with all this coronavirus stuff, I literally had the most amazing time. Um, I think I might do like a little recap video though, and kind of, because there's so much that I haven't said, and so much that I want to say, and so much that happened, and oh my god, I, yeah. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching, um, I hope you enjoyed it, and yeah, where would you go for your 30th birthday? If anyone is watching this, if you could go anywhere in the world, what would you want to do for your 30th? Let me know, and uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next video, bye!